What's good? I am all the way chilling out here at the dog park here in X Harbor on the clock. Please don't make me lose my job. I'm to talk to you about some real stuff today. So I do door to door sales now. Everyone's favorite <laughs> occupation. And in correlating to being woke, being in the spiritual community, being in the conscious community, just living life in general, I don't really care what you do or your level of consciousness, but it definitely applies if you are conscious extra more. If you're any general person on the planet though, this still works and applies to you. I personally am very big on always taking personal responsibility for things. I spent a lot of my life in ego-driven depression because I always blamed myself for everything. Anything I went through was my fault. If someone did not like me, it was my fault. If I did wrong or something, it was my fault. If I didn't get the results I wanted, it was my fault. Everything was my fault. I was always to blame for everything. So when other people blamed me or I got blamed for things falsely, it didn't really mean anything or wasn't really surprised to me because I blamed myself already for it. I said sorry for everything. I just apologized for everything imaginable. I would apologize for breathing. I would apologize for sitting. I would apologize for bumping into somebody. I want to tell you today, for you to understand this, sometimes it's not you, man. Sometimes it's really just not you. Sometimes it's just, there's things that you can fix. There's things that you can adjust. There's always places for you to improve, absolutely. But sometimes it's legit not you. In addition to being someone who apologizes for everything, I also have the unfortunate personality to be the one who is never afraid to tell someone when they're doing wrong. Just don't care that much. Friendship over? Great. As long as you fix this shit when I'm gone. That's how I think. That's how I live. Savage. <laughs> so, you can take that whichever way you want, but the reality is that, like, if you're in a relationship with somebody, Relationships are definitely a two-way street. It takes two to tango. Absolutely. But if you find yourself every day being bothered by the same things, you find yourself all the time going to your wits end, getting really angry, getting really upset, and having to fight over the same things with your partner, having the same discussions with your partner, and your partner every day, despite seeing like you have this grand emotional response to what they're doing to affect you, and they're still just acting like... That's just what they get like. That's Your partner's going to be lonely, man. There's a reason why your partner's with you and not with somebody else. Your partner can't find anybody else. Your partner can't be with anybody else because no, no one else in the world is going to put up with that. No one, I personally, if I get emotional about something, I'm done. If I'm at the point of like really expressing and getting emotional, if I'm at the point of really getting like seething, angry rage, I'm finished. At that point already, I'm already done at that moment. I'm already finished at that moment. So for it to not be addressed, for it to not be reconciled, for someone to keep denying it to me, that's another one of my pet peeves. The easiest way to make peace with me is to simply admit that you did wrong. Have sincerity, have an apology, fix your decision. We can go back to being friends or whatever the fuck we are. But denying my face that you've done wrong, it's not me. You know, some people do not want to see their flaws. They do not want to see their issues. And if you're one of the people who always see their flaws or always have their flaws pointed out to you, chances are that you're more than aware of what it is you need to fix. You're more than aware of what it is that you need to work on. And the only thing really limiting you right now is time. You know, that's just the pathway of success. Most people are bounded by success through time. Effort and energy, absolutely. Effort and energy and time, absolutely. This is all quick to success. But if you're already having the right practice, if you already have the right mentality, if you're already going along the right path or you find something that gives you joy, when you face issues in the world, it's more than likely the issue itself. It's more than likely the world. It's more than likely whatever the hell it is bothering you. <laughs> so there's like a bug on my screen. I'm trying to get it off. I got it. I got him. I got him. Sorry, buddy. He's still alive. Don't worry, I didn't kill him. <laughs> That's not to say, like, you can't blame circumstances for everything. That's not really... That's not what I'm talking about at all. I'm not talking about poverty. You know, I'm not talking about 
you had 10 bad relationships, it's just not you. No, those things are definitely your fault. What I'm saying is that sometimes, sometimes, the things affecting you and the way that people are reacting has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with that person. You know, like, every day I get doors slammed in my face. I get people told me, like, no, they just say I'm not interested. I don't even get, like, two sentences out of my mouth. I may not even get, like, my first opening sentence out. I may not even tell these people my name. They do not care who I am. And that's really what it is. They don't care who I am. They already have in their head what it is they want, what it is they don't want. They already have it in their head what it is they want to occupy their time with, what they don't want to occupy their time with. They see me knocking at the door. They're like, no, no way. That has nothing to do with me. The last thing I'm going to do is take it personally. The last thing I'm going to do is let it bother me. The last thing I'm going to do is let it take offense to it. Because what am I going to do? Knock on their per person's door again and like get in an argument with them? For what? Oh, you're not interested in buying windows? Has nothing to do with me. You know, if you're selling something and people aren't buying, people may just not give a fuck about your product. You know, two things I, I know people take... People and their thoughts and people and their feelings are like this. They don't need to be. Your thoughts and your feelings need to be like this. You need to be in between them. You know, you give them balance. Because more than likely, your emotions are completely selfish and egotistical, like most women. Or they're completely detached and overly logical, like most men. Mic drop X2, what's good? So, I would just take a say, take a moment and reevaluate before you consider whose fault it is. Take a moment and reconsider crying or blaming yourself or getting angry and anything like that. Because more than likely, it's just not worth it. More than likely, it has not much to do with you. Always bear in mind what it is you can be doing right. Always bear in mind what it is you can be doing better. Always keep in mind what it is you can improve. Always, absolutely always do that. There's no other way to be. There's no other way to be. I don't care if it's I don't care if you're watching something happen across the street that has nothing to do with you. You should always find a way. You could have done things better. Maybe you could have popped out your cell phone and taken some pictures for people. Maybe you could have got involved and stopped it. But there's a lot of people running around who do not have that mentality whatsoever. Everything that happens in life is someone else's fault. Everything that happens in life is because of circumstances, because of the situation they're in. No, you have a lot of power, but sometimes, sometimes, it really doesn't have anything to do with you. You're just 100% right. And it sucks. You're just forced to deal with a shitty situation until time passes you by or until you improve yourself and get out of the situation. But if you're in, I guess that's what I'm really specifically trying to say. If you're in the type of situation that abusive relationship, abusive household, you don't have the career, the job, or the opportunity that you want, you know, you could have gone to college, you could have gone to trade school, you could have done a lot of things. And those are things within your responsibility. But the overall idea of having a good job, having a good spouse, having a good family, it's something a lot of people have to deal with. Like, you're really not that special. And your parents want what's best for you no matter what. Even if your parents are trying to ruin your life and tell you that you can't accomplish anything, they're doing that because they tried to accomplish things that they didn't get accomplished. That had they spent their time differently, had they, had they practiced a different lifestyle, they probably would have everything that they wanted. You probably wouldn't have lived the life that you wanted. Now they're trying to live vicariously through you and make up for that. You really just gotta take it any way but personally. That's my advice for today. Hope you have an amazing day. Hope you enjoy the beauty that is nature. Peace out.